I booked you in for four, be there at four. Being there at 401 is embarrassing. It's unprofessional, it's unbecoming. And that was me, right? It was me. Growing up, I remember my dad used to tell me a story about a lawyer that worked at his firm. The guy was disheveled, his shirt was untucked, his hair was a mess. He came in, he had spilt coffee and mustard from a hot dog on his shirt, papers falling out of his dossiers, and he showed up to every meeting 10 minutes late. But you start off thinking this guy's a bit of a turd. But when you hear the story, my dad said this guy was unbelievable. He was so impressive in his presentations. He was incredibly intelligent, incredibly gifted. He just knew how to wow people. He knew how to impress. But growing up, my dad always told me, you know, who do you want to be? Do you want to be the guy that's on time? Or do you want to be that guy? I have to change everyone's mind. And to be fully transparent and honest, I kind of felt like I was that guy. I showed up late. But I brought gifts or, you know, I tried to make up for it. It's not that I was being late on purpose. It's just that it wasn't one of my strengths. It wasn't one of my strong suits. What really changed that for me was COVID. During COVID, people got used to working from home, right? You were no longer in an office setting where people kind of lollygagged into their meetings and things weren't as punctual. Now it's like, I want to get back to watching my Netflix series. I booked you in for four, be there at four, right? Being there at 401 is embarrassing. And, and that was me, right? It was me. And I, and I made excuses and I tried to make a, find a way to make it work. And, and part of the corrective path that I took was hiring an assistant, um, which has truly been game changing for me. But also I don't want to be that guy. I want to be on time and impress. And it's been like that for me for, for about a year. Prior to this year, I used to always look at people that were late and not be angry, right? I didn't want to be hypocritical. Stuff happens. Traffic's worse than you expected. Your internet connection, it wasn't strong. Somebody called you, your friend or you dropped off lunch for you, you had to go pick it up, right? There's a plethora of reasons that you can be late. And a lot of them to me seemed kind of justified. After being on time and being punctual for the last year, I don't accept any of that anymore because I wouldn't do it for me and, and I, I find it to be quite disrespectful. At the very least, ignorant of other people's time and ignorant of, of somebody else setting time aside to talk to you, whether that's a one-on-one -on -one or a group meeting. I think now more than ever, people are reliant on their meetings taking place, not only on time, but also finishing within the time set up for the call, right? There's nothing worse than somebody that just blabbing on for 10 minutes past the end and you have to make up an excuse to get off the call, right? It's, it's just, it's unprofessional, it's unbecoming, and it's not something that people should be doing. Showing up early on time, check your internet, Right? It's not 2014 anymore. I make sometimes the excuse of China having to use a VPN, right? It, it, it interferes, less bandwidth. It is problematic if you're using Western interface. So I, that excuse is justified. I used to be on the phone with people and if I couldn't answer them properly, hanging up was an option. Right, sorry, I had a bad, I had a bad connection, right? People used to do that. If you do that now, people are like, what is going on here? Get your shit together, right? Pull your pants up, like, let's go. You know, you gotta figure stuff like that out. So now more than ever, being punctual is of the utmost importance. When people are punctual, I respect them. I think that they're on top of their game. When people are late, it just, the questions start, right? Why start behind? Why give anybody else a head start on you? Why have to catch up? There's no point. And it's something that I've committed to. Being on time, being punctual is something that you put next to my name for meetings because that's how I'm gonna be. I'm a big fan of having nothing to do and nowhere to be when you don't need to. But when you do, make sure you're doing it because I'm watching you. Peace.